And <laughs> begin. <laughs> That's all getting cut. Oh, that wasn't even in there. Uh, actually, I'm it was all in there. <laughs> it was all Good. in there. Yeah. Good. It's going to get cut, but, you know, it was totally in there. Kevin's going to have to. Kevin's going to have to see it. <laughs> then hopefully Kevin has a sense of humor. <laughs> Does he, though? Yeah, that's a good point. All right. Anyways, from the beginning, so, this okay. is uh, Fruit of Grisiasissa. Yes, Grisiasissa. No, no, clear. It is Grisiasissa. That's what it is from now on, and it will always right. be referred to as such. Well, let's jump right into it. To the Fruit of Ursula. Intense sunlight blazes down on the road as if to declare the arrival of summer. Was I supposed to click on the X? <laughs> What happened? No. Did I fuck up already? Yeah, we've already X, broken the game. The X removes the uh, text so you can see the CG scene. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I, got, I figured it out, guys. Oh, damn it. Five seconds Ten seconds into up. a visual novel and we fuck it up. <laughs> the That's burning... indicative of something. Yep. <laughs> the burning asphalt radiates heat, mixing with the scent of, tide, of the tide, form a thick muggy atmosphere. Yeah, that's what summer usually is like. Well, not here in California, where it's dry as fuck all year round. But still awful. Yep. When the weather's clear in summer like this, you get guys who lose their heads in the heat. Sexual assaults, robberies, all the way up to homicides. Does that happen more during summer? First off, yeah, it actually does. Huh. Like, there's a market up increase in violent crimes in the summer. Second of all, what a cheery fucking guy the main character is. <laughs> His first thought at the start of summer is, people are going to be getting stabbed all over town now. I don't have the time to list the variety of crimes committed by morons with baked brains. Uh, wait, what? Oh, oh I hit the scroll wheel and it brings up all the past lines of text. That's convenient. As a result, at times like these, the police inevitably get very wary about suspicious types. It was about ten minutes ago that I realized I'd been mistaken for one of those heatstroke adult sorts. Policeman. Right, who wants to be the policeman? I'll be the policeman. Okay. Name? Kazami, Kazami Yuji. Address? Asato in Yamanishi Prefecture. Sweet pouring from, sweat pouring from his forehead as he examines my license. The policeman in front of me takes a glance at the large backpack I'm carrying, then continues the background check. You came here from Yamanashi. Yeah. What business do you have in this city, and why are you lugging around that enormous bag? Where are you headed in? You headed anywhere in particular? I told you this ten minutes ago. I'm moving this luggage. This like I'm moving. This luggage is everything I own. So, what's your new address? Like I said, I don't have one yet. The answer's not going to change no matter how many times you ask. You're moving, but you don't know where to. What is this Look, fucking Animal Crossing? Hide? How about you just come clean already? This policeman's a bit of an asshole. <laughs> oh my god, right? Where did you come from? Where are you going? There's a Cotton Eye Joe right Where did you come from? Where are, are you going? I wasn't gonna make it! Cotton Eye Joe. I wasn't gonna make it. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <sighs> what are you planning to do there? Depending on the context, these could be fairly philosophical questions. But as far as police inqu inquiries go, they're pretty run of the mill. From their perspective, anyone wandering around without clear cut business is, a default, is by default a criminal of some sort. Let alone someone like me carrying around conspicuous bulky luggage. It's as good as guaranteed that they'd stop me. Where is this fucking Soviet Russia? I was walking down the street with a big bag, so I guess I was asking for it. They then deployed the entire Spetsnaz onto me. Because, you know, yeah, Russia. Now why is that stoplight sideways? Is that how they are in Japan? Probably. God damn commies in the wrong way, stoplights. <laughs> Moving on. I drop a glance towards the digital watch I'm wearing around my left wrist. Uh, sorry, but I'm keeping someone waiting. Uh, I really can't spare any more time hanging out with bored cops. Oh. 
I... Are you mocking me, young man? Young man, who do you think you who are? Who the fuck told I you that? I will give you five across the ass. <laughs> a, b a bored police force is proof that the city's at peace. Take it as a compliment. Inexplicably taking offense at my tone, the policeman clicks his tongue in irritation and tosses my license back. Alright then, Kazami-san. Sorry for the inconvenience, but would you mind letting me take a look at that pack you're carrying? I refuse. Damn. Laying down Why? his rights. You, want, you got something you don't want me to see in there? A knife, maybe? Hmm? First off, knives aren't illegal. <laughs> they are not. Not even in Japan. Second uh, of all, uh, second off, I love how this guy has just decided, I'm gonna be a dick to a cop today. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't rely on blades. Policy of mine. Look, are you really telling me to unpack all this, uh, all of this on the spot? It'll take an hour at least. 30 minutes just to take it all out. 30 minutes to stuff it back in. How fucking big is his bag? <laughs> in that case, let's head over to the station. No reason to stand around in the sun, right? I'll get you some cold tea and we'll have a nice long chat. At least he's offering you tea. Also, he's arresting you for no reason. <laughs> or attempting oh. to. Detain. Yeah, maybe he's not arresting. Maybe he's saying, hey, we should go back to the station. Hey, maybe let's go hang out. Hey, Gefroy joined. Say hi, everyone. We're gonna have you're to keep that one out. Kevin beat that out. <laughs> You're lucky I'm at my dad's house, or I'd have had something worse to say. <laughs> All right, let's Are you move going on. To participate yeah. in this. Half tempted right? to just berate Geffroy until he gives up and says something back at me, but I'm not going to be that no. mean. You got 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I just told you I don't have the time. I can't accept voluntary questioning. I know you can't just back down in this situation, but if I say I'll head over there myself later, could we wrap this up for now? It's very convenient for you, but what guarantee do I have that you'll ever show? At least give me an address if you want me to agree to that. As I've explained, I'm in the middle of a move. I vacated my old place, and I don't have an address. This is like fucking Animal Crossing. <laughs> then give, give me your parents' address, or are they homeless too? Oh, this guy's Why, thank you for bringing up bad memories, asshole! I've lived my whole life on the streets! Triggered! <laughs> this policeman sucks. He's a dick. He, like he is a dick. <sighs> I don't have any parents. No siblings or relatives. They're all dead, asshole. Oh, uh, well, never mind. This is getting dark again. <laughs> Damn! This guy's a real downer. You're berating a homeless child, officer. You may want to take a step back. <laughs> you serious? You sure you're not hiding something from me? Like drugs? Or whores? Just to leave so, I'll take our take. Or whores who are on drugs? Or drugs who are on whores? Just I was wondering just, if anyone would do it. Just a kilo of cocaine in my butt. Just a kilo. <laughs> How, you keep a fucking two a pounds of cocaine kilo. in your anus. That's, uh. uh pretty yeah, impressive. Yeah, you Keep it stretched out when I'm not using it. You know how, like, when you put a baseball in a glove and then put a rubber band around it? Yeah. Yeah. It's the same concept. This is going nowhere. Except with cocaine. <laughs> Alright. All right. So why don't we move things along? To the station, maybe. I'll call a patrol call car. You just stay here where you are, please. Yeah. I'll just stand here. In the heat. Waiting for a policeman to come and detain me for no reason. I'll just do that. Then at least let me call the person I'm supposed to be meeting. At this rate, they'll be waiting all day. That's fine, but who are you meeting? Friend? A whore? A drug? A pimp? <laughs> a drug? <laughs> a whoring, pimping drug? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> Someone you can't tell me about, eh? Look, you know damn well I can't just tell a policeman about all those drug whores I'm t going to you. So, yeah. whore drugs. Yes, the whore drug. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's your mother. We had an appointment at a hotel tonight. Really? Oh. We're gonna be going there? <laughs> That's where this is going? <laughs> he just pulled a fucking your mom joke on this guy. 
I like Yuji. Uh, I'm li I like Yuji. What? He's got spunk. I was keeping quiet out of the goodness of my heart. You dragged it out of me. So don't blame me when your parents get divorced and your happy home is shattered. God. What the fuck is going on already? What? Look, Yuji is... Uh, you're going to find out all about Yuji. And it's He's an asshole? This oh. is more depressing than the last visual novel we played, and that was about disabled people! <laughs> At least this isn't a cripple wonderland. Uh, there's yeah, there's no sideshow acts here. <laughs> I mean, yet. You watch your mouth. Okay, just fucking wait. There's a reason we're playing it. All right, Alex, you voice her. Yeah. I imagine she just karate. Did she just karate chop me? I wait. hope so. Huh? Huh? <laughs> dot dot dot. Dot. About thirty meters away from where we're to from where we're talking, someone screams. A desperate cry follows within seconds. Hey, someone! It's somebody, oh. actually. Yeah. You can go suck a fat dick. How fat? <laughs> hey, I'm just asking for accurate reading. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to disappoint I'm the I'm adding my own flavor to it. Okay, fine, God. A woman sits collapsed on the street, stretching out her hand. Her high heels lie on the ground, knocked off her feet by the sudden fall. What, were they not fucking secured? <laughs> Just about halfway between us, there's a man in a flashy Hawaiian shirt running in this direction. The Ooh, best thing flashy. to go commit a crime in. Something very, very noticeable. Flashy. <laughs> Listen, he just got home from his vacation. You can't blame the guy. Well, you can't. First off, but... anyone who's snatching purses is not <laughs> vacationing Shit. in Hawaii. A cop! Or not. Unless Geoffrey wants to voice man. Uh, uh, shit. I don't... A cop. Shit. I like it. Yeah, for you just rub some girl's purse. Put more flavor into it. Shit, man, a cop. Oh yeah, he's got oh, a Hawaiian yeah, shirt on. It. That's happening. <laughs> although there flinches, although the thief flinches for a moment at the sight of the policeman's uniform, after a quick check for any convenient side streets, he barrels onward. Move it, asshole. <laughs> Yeah. Brandishing the stolen bag menacingly, his hand violently gestures out of my way. Is he threatening a cop with a fucking handbag? I He's think so. Telling the cop to get out of his way. While violently- stolen. While fucking brandishing the handbag he just stole. One Fear it! They're an assault in the US. Need to be shot down in the streets. <laughs> uh, stop? Stop right there. Whoops. Wait, what? Uh, what the hell? Did you I, actually, I scrolled through oh, a bunch of things. I fucked it up. Uh, yeah, pushing controls causes a skip. So ah, okay. Don't. The cop is completely flustered. He's quite clearly unaccustomed to this sort of situation. While he's panicking, the distance between us and the thief shrinks with a su surprising swiftness. And, Gaffroy, right you're the bottom line. Man, out of the way, brah. The man runs a straight line towards a breakthrough... Towards a breakthrough to freedom. I happen to be standing directly in the middle of his path. I said move. Damn it, bro. He prepares to strike with the bag. I ascertain the movement of his shoulder and arm for the first signs of motion. Uh, and hit... And hit sar... Let me try this again. And his... You know what? I, I give up. Uh... <laughs> yeah, the man's arm instantly stiffens and loses all momentum. His eyes pop wide open in shock. I immediately grab the collar of the Hawaiian shirt he's wearing and firmly draw him towards me. So our main character is a badass? Is that what I'm getting out of this? Uh, so <laughs> far. Wow. Well, I mean, we've had a street life. We've gotten good at this kind of thing. How do you pronounce G-H? <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, imagine you're trying to take a massive shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Before the man could offer any resistance to my pull, I smoothly reverse it and use my body weight to shove against him. Would push just as they've begun to brace themselves against being pulled, anyone except a genuine expert is going to be thrown off balance. Nice shirt. 
Where'd you buy it? Mexico, God. Oh, God, he's a generic anime character, main, uh, main anime character. <laughs> Gah. Gug. Gah. Gug. Shock spreads across the man's face as his knees buckle against his will. I tried to gain a chokehold using my grip on the neck of his shirt, but... Bastard. The man probably draws his head back and shifts his body to the side, preventing me from, hold from landing a hold on his neck. Although I expected as much from a glance at his build, it seems like he's somewhat experienced in judo. What? Were you confused about Kefra? Karate fight breaks out in the streets in the first five minutes of this. Uh, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like it or hate it. This has been a wild fucking ride already. I can't wait. And you haven't even experienced anything yet. Exactly. But in this case, you have been better off trying to decisive tackle. We have time to fucking literally school him. <laughs> It's a fucking anime. <laughs> Rotating around the purse snatcher in the opposite direction of his slide, I yank, his, I yank his right arm upward with both hands. In one movement, I've circled to his back. Oh, that sounded like a snap. Boy, this is a lot better than old heart condition. <laughs> this is like the polar opposite of his now. Yeah, as long as... Long you, you, know, you don't have to worry about, you know, dying every time you start to do minor activity. So, you almost die walking up a hill one point. Beating the shit out of someone. I'd be Next, surprised. pull back on the opponent's wrist and elbow and pin him to the ground. It's a basic... It's just basic Aikido, by the way. Just the basic shit. Ow. Ow, wow, wow, wow. Fudge. Asshole. Get off. I'll freaking kill you, brah. As Kefroy refused, to, Kefroy just refused to say the word fuck twice in a row. I'm, I'm perplexed. I'm feeling hey, I'm You've got your priorities all wrong before worrying about me. You should kill the guy who just, who sold you that shirt. Wow. Whoa. We are a fucking, fucking. snark machine. <laughs> this guy's got a mouth on him. Gug. God damn it. God damn kid. <laughs> this guy's surprisingly monotone for something getting the absolute, absolute <laughs> shit kicked out of him. Perhaps unconsciously, the man's now empty left hand desperately slaps at the asphalt. While holding the thief pinned, I quickly shoot a look behind me. Don't just. Oh, yeah, that's right. Man. There's a fucking cop that's just not he's been just, doing uh, He's just uh, been watching yeah. us beat the shit out of this guy. <clears throat> Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, right to that. The policeman jerks up straight- jerks up straight in response to my angry shout. Taking a pair of handcuffs from the pouch around his wrist, he runs over to restrain the criminal. The first snatcher seems to have resigned himself to his fate and doesn't offer any pointless resistance. He accepts his red-handed arrest for theft docilely. Uh, then sits quietly in the ground with his head hung as the policeman radios for backup. He has to, you know, call for backup. The fashion police. That's a loud ass siren. It's Apparently, kind of like I remember. I'm really happy that we're doing this through the Skype visual. <laughs> Apparently, they weren't too far off. So siren approaches in no time. And we took the purse with us. <laughs> Two policemen get out of the car right, of the arriving cruiser and push the criminal into the back seat. As I'm quietly watching the scene in perfect passivity, the policeman from earlier runs over. Thank you for your cooperation in the arrest. I mean... <laughs> I'll pass on the letter of thanks. So, how about letting me move on? We can't do that, I'm afraid. If possible, we'd like to have a detailed conversation at the station regarding both the incident and the previous matter. Oh. Oh, God damn it. Figure Jesus Christ. This is the worst cop ever. So why is he... Whatever. To be fair, at this point, he would have to go to the station. It's, you know, he was... Well, yeah. He did assist in that arrest, yeah. Shaking my head. just let the lady get her purse stolen. 